this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm doing a design team project for May May Made It. I'm using three stamp sets to pull this card together. This is called His and Hers. Beautiful stamp set, great for an anniversary. I'm going to be using this stamp because I want it to be a masculine card. And this bow tie right here, I think that's going to be fabulous. I'm also going to be using the From All of Us stamp set. I'm going to use Happy Anniversary. And me and my husband celebrated our anniversary this week. We actually been celebrating all month. And I'm also going to be using All About You. And I'm going to use one of these hearts, either this little one or this one here. But this is an absolutely beautiful stamp set. I love the fact that it has you and then you can uh, mix it up. You are lovely. You are beautiful. You are amazing. These are like empowering words and I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be using this in a lot of other videos as well. Um, let me just show you this one more time. This one is, um, it also has so thankful for you. So I did use this stamp also. Congratulations, happy retirement. I'm here for you. We are here for you. We are so happy for you. So it's one of those from all of us stamps. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. This is gonna be an A2 size card and it's five and a half by four and a quarter, my favorite size card. And I thought I would just keep it simple since it's a masculine card. I'm gonna do stamp in black and maybe just put a tiny bit of red in there. So I thought a black and white card would look really pretty. I'm also going to be showing you uh, what happens when you don't stamp like perfect. And someone had asked me that before. They asked if I, whether I get rid of it, if it doesn't stamp out perfect. I usually keep it and I fix it up. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna first use the longer stamp. Let me just show you what that one looks like again with the bow tie. So hopefully I can get a stamp that, does, that doesn't come out perfect. And I don't think any of my stamping is perfect. <laughs> and so I'm gonna use this right here and I'm gonna stamp it out and make a pattern for my card. I've had uh, this on my mind for a while and wanted to do this, and this is a great opportunity to do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm using my VersaFine ink, one of my favorites in the Onyx Black, and I'm using one of my longer um, block, stamping blocks, and I'm just gonna ink this up so hopefully, I'm not going to ink it up perfectly because I want to show you what I do when I don't get a perfect stamp. So hopefully this doesn't come out like really good, right? I'm actually trying to have a happy accident here. So what I wanted to do is just come right down and make um, a pattern. And so I'm just going to stamp right here. And I'm hoping this doesn't come out correct. Okay, let's see. Okay, that did come out pretty good, but it still has some areas where it's not shaded in, but I'm gonna just keep going. So the nice thing is you can create patterns with your stamp sets. That way you get more use out of them. Ink that up real good, and let's go this way with it. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with it to create a really pretty pattern on here, but still keeping it masculine. Okay, good. Okay, that, that happened, so that's a good thing. I want that to happen. <laughs> So let's see how many I can get on here. I want my sentiment to go somewhere down here. All right. That's good. Let's see how this one comes out. Just turning it around. And 
and just kind of lining it up with that first one so we get a nice pattern on this. Okay, and good, that didn't come out perfect. All right. Yay, I'm so happy for imperfections because it gives you a chance. It gives you a uh, teachable moment or learning moment. This is so fun to do. Okay, pressing that out. And I will put all of the information for everything I use. Well, that one came out pretty good actually, but that's okay. We'll use this one as the example. So when I show you how to clean it up. So we got one, two, let's see. I think we can do one more maybe right here. So let me go ahead and do that. Yep, we're always going to make some type of little error or whatever. It's okay. I call them happy accidents. Opportunity to create something different, right? Something unique. And don't stress about it. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this one doesn't come out too good. Oh, that one came out perfect. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a black marker and I'm gonna go in, all right? So this doesn't get wasted. Let me just put this over here. And I'm just gonna go in here now and clean it up a little bit. I'm just taking my time. And let's see, I think there's a little space in between there. And the person you're giving to it to is not going to notice. Bill is not going to say, oops, you forgot that little spot. Nope, he's not. And I know many of you are um, always looking for ideas for uh, masculine cards. That's why it's always so wonderful to um, to do more masculine cards. Just challenge yourself. I just usually go with darker colors or I think about my husband and what he would like. And I try to keep it simple. Nice clean lines. Okay, and this looks so elegant. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So that's how I would clean it up. And you'd never know that it didn't stamp out properly. Or only you would know, right? So I like when I make a mistake on camera, I like to leave the mistake in so I can show you. All right, and look at that. Isn't that just, that is so adorable. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out my sentiment right here. Actually, I'm gonna stamp my yeah, let's go ahead and stamp that sentiment on there. And then I could go ahead and stamp my little, looks like a groomsman there, bride and groom. This is a perfect, this is perfect for an anniversary card. Um, if it's for his and her, you can do it. I'm just going to do it because, uh, for my husband. So I'm just going to stamp out that one thing. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of red in this with the heart. Turn it this way. Happy anniversary. Stamp it right here in this space. Perfect. I am loving that Versafine ink. Okay, let's put that aside a little bit. Now I'm going to take my groomsmen here. I am going to stamp him out. Just line this up right here. Like that. So this is a two piece. If you just wanted to use the tuxedo, you can, but I'm going to use the hat and the tuxedo. 
I'm just putting this right above it just like that. So much you can do with these stamps. Let's see. I think I'll just turn that that way. Sometimes it's easier to bring the um, stamp pad to the image. And let's see if I can get a not too perfect stamp on here. Show you how I clean that up. I'll just put that here. Oh, that came out perfect, right? <laughs> ah, just has a little bit of white space there. But I would go and clean it up the same way. And look how nice and crisp that is. Look at that. So I'm going to cut this out. Just going to fussy cut this out, but not really fussy cutting. I'm just going to kind of stay close um, to the line here. Do that and come right up here. And if you have not um, signed up for May May's Stamp of the Month Club, it's a great way to get your stamps uh, delivered to your doorstep every month new and amazing stamp sets every single month. Okay, so look at that. I'll put the information for that below also. Yep, so I'm just kind of cutting that out just a little bit there. Alright, and so that's what I want it to look like. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp out some hearts. And all I'm doing for this is just kind of cleaning it with a wet wipe. And some of my uh, stamps are stained. I know there's a cleaner that you can use, but it's still good. So this is just a scent-free um, wet wipe that I'm using to clean this off. Okay, so let's go ahead and look how cute that looks so far. Look at that. I am loving this stamp set. It looks so elegant. I'm not putting anything shimmery on it, although you could go in here, add a little bit of shimmery stuff. I'm just going to add a red heart. I think the red will give it some impact. And I'm going to use my Ladybug Memento inks. This is a nice um, ink set if you're if you don't have a whole lot of ink in your stash and you want to get a bunch and have a bunch of colors. I'm just gonna show you this. This whole set. Look at that. You get um, you get uh, twelve in a set and lots of different colors, plus a tuxedo black, which is great too. So I will put that below in the description box for you. I know many of you that follow me are new stampers, and so that's just a great way to have lots of color in your stamp sets. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can ink this up real good. Okay, so let's say, put one right here. Just that little bit of red makes an impact. And sometimes I get red on the sides there. I get ink right around the sides. I just go and wipe it off. And maybe one heart. Let's see where else I want a heart. Put one right here. And then I'll put one more. Maybe right here. I think it'll be cute. Or I could put one right here. I think I'll put it right there. Yep. And so just adding that little bit of red. Still keeping it masculine. 
And now that I've got this, I'm going to put this here, but I'm going to pop it up on some uh, mounting tape. But before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this on my card. Let's see. Okay, let's just center that and look at that, that little red border really helps to make the card pop. So if you want to add in color, you can always add it in on your border. So cute. Let me put the inside part in here. And I could use my ink for that. The nice thing about using a, um, a glue an art glitter glue, a wet glue, is that you can kind of move it around a little bit when you're using your cardstock, trying to put it in there or place it. I still have room for error and room to move it around, which is great. So just another little tip. Now I'm going to take this and add that right on here. And I could actually pop it up, couldn't I? Could pop it up or I can leave it flat. Let me go ahead and pop that up. That'll give it some dimension. Or you can leave it flat, it's just up to you. Oops. Oh, that'll be fine. I got a lot of sticky stuff on me here. Don't do that though, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna remove that backing from this and then we're gonna pop it on our card. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on here. Happy anniversary on there. That looks really good dimensional. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put him here and just kind of have that popped up just a little bit. I am crafting early in the morning before everyone in the household gets up. Although I do hear Bill puttering around. So if you happen to hear that noise, it's hubby, he's up. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and just mount it right here. Just like that quick and simple. I'm going to write my message in here. Look how adorable that looks. Oh my goodness. Let me show you the others that I did because I did practice. <laughs> and so here's another one. Super adorable. And I put so thankful for you. So this can be an all year round card, masculine card, just to kind of show appreciation. So thankful for you. And here's one without the red. I do like the red better. Both of these have uh, are without the um, the red on there, and I did just put the two the three hearts. But just really simple. If you didn't want to put a border, or if you didn't have red paper and you just had the black and white, this still works. So I do hope that this inspired you and gave you another idea for a masculine card. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I will make sure I put all of the links to May May's store in the description box below this video. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.